I love the science behind what we do in the clinical laboratory and I love being able to apply the science to um, provide great patient outcomes for those patients who are sick enough or have underlying conditions that make it necessary for them to be in a hospital or a healthcare setting. I think it's very important that there be a collaboration between the laboratory and the IP for the simple fact that the role of the lab is very important as is the role of the IP and the demands that are placed on the IP greatly influences their relationship with the laboratory. So I think that people who work in the field need to not feel that they are unique in their relationship in their institution with regard to the laboratory. But you can also have a discussion when you have a relationship between clinical lab and infection prevention programs where you can have a realistic uh, conversation about what are the testing methods that are best used for our patient population. We were actually assigned one of the vice presidents for finance and worked with him for over six months so that he understood the uh, clinical aspects of infection and we understood how they did their financial analysis. We have what we call a MRSA bundle. It's a four-part uh, group of infection control strategies. It begins with active surveillance where we actually look for colonization or infection in the patient on admission, transfer from unit to unit within the hospital during the stay and a discharge. The second component is an emphasis on contact precautions for all the individuals found to be colonized or infected with MRSA. The third component is uh, an emphasis on hand hygiene. And the fourth is uh, trying to achieve a culture transformation where all the individuals in the facility take on infection control as their own responsibility, their own job.